Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more False Bound Kingdom. It's me, Cooper, and today we have a new member of the army. We have Bakora. He's joining our team, and I'm happy to have him because he's such a good guy. So, Bakora, he has himself his boss monster, Ansetsu. He's got Beast King of the Swamps. No, he doesn't fuse with everything. And he has Stuffed Animal, interestingly enough. Now, we're going to go ahead and check around to see... If we have anything better to offer him, let's see, attack-wise, doesn't look like it. So his team is as good as it's going to get, and that's a really sad thing to say out loud. Um, I really don't have much to help him. I, you know what I can do? I can go over to this guy. Mm, do I really want to take off a Beast Fangs? Mm. Alright, well, either way, we need to give Bakora some items. I'm thinking about what items to give. 1100 defense, so this guy is the tankier one. This guy's going to be given some blue medicine and a monster reborn just to keep him happy. Yeah, that'll that'll set him straight. That's good. Um, luckily, Ansatsu already has a sword, so that's pretty good. But this, this stuffed animal is not strong enough. Honestly, I might need to give him another beast fangs. Um, Yugi's team, I like having Yugi's team be busted. So let's go ahead and take one off of Gazelle. Because I'm, like, a dick. <laughs> I'm not a very nice person. Alright, they're gonna take that off of there. And good old, uh, stuffed animal's gonna get himself a little bit of a fang. This will help him out in the future. So, there we go. Everyone's all set up now. Our fight with the, the next guy is ready to go. So, we are gonna be having our first sea battle. And it looks like none of our monsters are sea-based. So, we're not gonna be doing too good in the sea. But... Let's just hope for the best, and hopefully the turbulent waters don't knock us out. This is going to be a tough mission if you are not used to sea battles, so get ready. These naval battles can be a problem. And there are, I believe, two roaming monsters on this map, so get ready for that, too. That's going to that's gonna be its own challenge. Um, all right, we can't lose this map. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start moving people. Yugi, you're going to move around here-ish. And yes, there's a reason Yugi has to go over there. Um, we're going to send our new member, Bakora, to try and capture this territory before any of the enemies get here. Simon, I want you to capture this territory if possible. And then, as you can see, the enemies are already coming, but they're moving very slowly because they happen to be water-based. They will move a lot faster once they actually hit the water. Um, I want you to be over here just in case we need some extra protection. And let's see what the trader offers in this area. The basic stuff. Okay. I'll buy a blue medicine just because we're getting more people in the army. I bought three. Hmm. Couldn't help myself. Alright, so now let's go. Oh, we already got Yokon. Good. Let's go ahead and check out our enemies so we can see what we're up against. See, now they're entering the sea. They're going to be starting to do a little bit better. Uh, all of these monsters are stronger in the sea. We got three of these spiked Cedras and a freaking Kaiushin. All of us know Karyushin from Mako Tsunami. That card's actually pretty good back in the day. I'm joking, obviously. It's a level 5 monster with 1800 attack. But this game is all about attack and defense and not about tributing. So, it is a lot. And we're being attacked. I found the first roaming monster. It's an insanely powerful one. Please send your strongest guy after this one. Because it's Octoburser. 1700 HP. Freaking a million attacks. And I've already lost almost half my health. I lost like a third of my health in one attack. This is one of the strongest things you have to fight in the game. This roaming monster might be harder than the boss of this area. So luckily we have a lot of equip spells, so we should, or equip items, so we should be able to take this guy down. They're basically equip spells, I could say equip spells. Um, everyone's gonna attack because we need to make sure we knock this guy out. That is the goal of the day. With one attack, he managed to do 3, or 397 damage to us, so that's a problem. He keeps targeting our best boy, Celtic Guardian, and that's not good. A critical hit could re uh, wreck him now. But we need Celtic Guardian's attack stat because it's really what's knocking this Octoburser down. Silverfang is also helping thanks to its double Beast Fangs. Ooh, Octoburser, you are a problem. Okay, one more attack, one more attack. Blackland Fire Dragon, it may not work, but use fire on water and we'll take out this boss monster. If you don't have equip items, taking out the Octoburser is extremely difficult. You do need to use your best forces. And you need to, if you don't have good equip items, abuse the guard function. Use guard on whoever he's focusing, okay? It's the only way you're gonna win. It's such a hard fight, you have no idea. I was just lucky I found a place where I could buy equip items. Now that I have Octoburser, I'm going to move Yugi where I think the next one is. I don't... 
I don't have perfect information on everything, but I feel like the next one's over here. And I don't know if it's going to be as hard to find, but we'll, we'll look for it. We'll definitely look for it. Um, I don't know if Yugi has to be the one to go get him either. Let's go ahead and go over here. I'm actually kind of sending Yugi over here because I want him to attack the sea monsters. Here they come. Okay, never mind. Even in the water, these guys are slow. I, I forgot what they get in the sea. But when they're in the sea, they get some sort of boost. Let's see. Check out their abilities. Water of Depths. Yep. As long as you're fighting them in the water, you'll probably lose. So don't do it. And it looks like they're sending even more forces. Oh, a Curse of Dragon. Hold up. That could be a problem. So Yuki needs to not fight these guys in the water. And Tristan needs to hold them at bay. If you fight them in the water, you're going to lose a lot of HP in the process. Simon, I actually might need you to do this instead. This is uh, a little bit worrying. Yugi, you might accidentally clash, so I might need you to fall back instead. Maybe you'll just be part of the forces that help take out these guys. And then I'm going to send Fizdiz to do a job that I didn't think I'd need to do. But we're going to have her, since she's our flyer, take this area over here. Alright, Yugi getting into position. This guy... Simon, sorry, I forgot. I need you to stop the Curse of Dragon. It moves way faster than you. Oh, no, you have a flying guy. You could stop him. It's going to be a close call, but you could stop him. Yugi, we need you a little bit farther. Okay, good. Simon managed to reach him. But this is going to be a real fight because they sent out a real officer with Curse of Dragon, Parrot Dragon, a bunch of very powerful tribute monsters, and Kyrule, who's just a tank. And you all know tanks are scary. Uh, first things first, always check your opponents for items. Uh, info is the Y button. Forgot. They don't have any items, so it's a good idea to take out their boss. I'm going after the Curse of Dragon. I always loved the Curse of Dragon. I actually had a guy the Fierce Knight deck in Master Duels. And I used a basic Curse of Dragon in that one. It was fun. Lots of fun. I also used a basic guy the Dragon Champion. It won me a duel. Alright, that guy's guarding, which is fine because he's not my target. Paradragon's like my next target because that thing is also a problem. I think Paradragon has the same stats as a... Oh, it's weaker. Okay. Curse of Dragon in this game is stronger than Paradragon in every way. Okay. Oh, no, it's also because it's level 4. Yeah, I was going to say, Paradragon should have near at least nearly the same stats as a Curse of Dragon. There we go. Beaver Warrior. I got to remember. Be oh, wow, they're just guarding on the sides. Not really doing much. But all of these guards are giving him tons of points, so I need to kill off an enemy. Zombie Warrior. Go! Yeah. Once we kill off this bird, we can uh, get to work. The only problem is we don't want to lose the fight because then they're going to capture our castle. Capturing the castle would be very bad for us. Like I said, this mission can actually be considered hard. Octoburst is the hardest part of it, and we already took that care of that. But it can be considered hard, so be careful. And try not to fight any of your water, oh, any of the water adept enemies on the sea. Fighting the enemies on the sea will just get you killed. Which is one of the reasons why Octoburst was so strong. We fought him on the sea. But you have to because he only roams in the sea. Alright, we should be able to finish him off. I was going to let Zombie Warrior do it, but we don't know if we're going to miss, so... Now that we've done that, are we going to win the fight? Yes, we won the fight. Okay, good. Let's just start working on Paradragon. Good job, Simon. Alright, level 11s, level 11s, level 12, okay. Good to see that, happy to see that. Hopefully, Simon, that circle of the enemy, because the Curse of Dragon it takes up a big circle. It might be big enough for an instant battle. Yes. When you're fighting an enemy with a huge circle around them, you instantly fight them again. It's the advantage or disadvantage of having a huge circle. So if you're fighting an opponent you don't want to let escape you, uh, make sure you send in somebody that takes up a lot of space. Because then even if you lose the fight, they're automatically forced to fight you again. All right, Zombie Warrior, you can take the hit, I believe. There you go. Beaver Warrior, you're the best hitter on the team. I need you to do some damage. Beautiful. Get that Skull Spark going. Beautiful. So far, so good. So far, so good. That's a little scary. <laughs> Just this, it's so slow and so devastating looking, but it's actually coming from a really weak enemy. So it, it, it's they're just trying to scare you. It's not even a problem. All right, 167. Zombie Warrior, why don't you just get a little cut in there? Yeah, just a little cut. Nothing too big. And they live with 4 HP. Okay, I should have asked for a big cut. And now they're guarding, so now I'm going to have to waste some time. Out of curiosity, that guard's not going to win them any battles. Uh, I guess we could start working on Kyrule, since the other guy only has a few HP left anyway. 
And zombie warrior. I'm gonna save your attack to kill off the other guy. Ky yeah, you just keep attacking Cairo. Don't even worry about it. And then you just wait a bunch of times. It's okay if it ruins my record. I don't care. And then we just attack the pear dragon. There we go. And knocked out of the sky. Yeah, this guy was actually pretty tanky. He was probably the strongest member they sent out that isn't sea-based. And, you know, him having a flying enemy was really smart because that made him faster than everything else and caught me a little off guard. But we did it either way, so it's fine. And instant battle. Yep, <laughs> no time has passed. The only thing that's happening is us and this guy fighting. All right, I'm gonna... Wait, what was that in the background? It was like something green back there. How do I... Is that... Is that an animal? Where are you? Is there one on the other side as well? Hold up. No, what the hell is that? It looks like there's something right behind us. Okay. I'm gonna keep that on the screen, because that's not something I usually see ever. Maybe I've just never seen this angle of the map. Maybe there's always something there. It's possible. It's definitely possible. But it's, it's out of the ordinary for me, so... Maybe we should go backwards and check out what's going on here. Alright, everyone gets a victory. Heck yeah. Simon gets a level, or Shimon. There we go. And then... I don't know if that's going to make the other forces decide to move in a different direction, but... For now, I want to check out around here. That might be where the next one is. And now we need to go back to Yugi quickly, because we don't know if he's the one that's about to fight. Okay. Yugi, you need to stay close, but not too close, because you don't want to get knocked into the water after a battle. And Tristan, you need to stay pretty close, too. This guy I'm going to let through. Honestly, I, I want to see Bakora in action, so we're going to let that happen. Um, Simon, you see anything over here yet? Anything in the area? Sometimes you have to search for a long time, so don't be afraid to just look around. Yeah. Oh, already. We're being attacked by roaming monsters. Perfect. And I didn't heal. I just realized I didn't heal. Everyone, say hello to Enchanting Mermaid, another powerful enemy. And given that I did not heal, I might have messed up. All right. Feral Imp attacked the Enchanting Mermaid. 166. Not bad. Okay. This is my best attacker, but also kind of the problem that he's like very low on HP. But here we go. Let's see how much we could do to her. Yeah, if we could keep him alive. She's guarding. Oh, I hate to do this, but we're going to have to waste a heal turn. Yeah. As long as she's guarding, we can't do much, and we need to win in many ways. So her guard got her some points. That's fine. I'm going to wait. Uh, just to make sure she dies in case she gets some attacks off. High Tide, how much does this do? All right, I'm good. She attacked my tank that I healed. Perfect. Yike. Over 200 damage. Holy crap. She is actually going to be a problem. All right, good. Beaver Warrior got an attack off. Very close to death. Beaver Warrior gets to go twice because the game said so. And now we just need... We have three attacks left. We could do this. Feral Imp, finish her off. Give us that enchanting mermaid. Heck yeah. We took out the mermaid, everybody. I will not be enchanted, and neither will any of you. Hey, Simon got an all he got an omni buff, buff on every stat. That's amazing. All right. I wish I could celebrate, but honestly, we're not going to have time. Enchanted Mermaid joined the army. Hell yeah. Enchanted Mermaid's awesome. Yeah, we're not going to have time. We're about to get into battle. Bakora's first. All right, Bakora, let me see how you handle these guys with your I gave you some items, so hopefully they come in handy. These guys are fighting on the land, so that gives us an advantage. Only two attacks from the stuffed animal, and that's a shame. Let's see how much he can do to Spike Seed or the boss. Honestly, we all know that crab thing sucks, but Jellyfish is actually a good monster. The fact that it gets 1,500 defense, it's it's really solid. Let's see how much... It only should have 1,200 attacks, so let's see how much it does. Yeah, but around 13, so it's, it's a higher level. Uh, let's see how much our Misty Ninja Slash does. That's a really cool attack animation. Hey, you know what? That's a pretty solid damage. For a new member that doesn't really have that many items, that's a really solid amount of damage. And Beast King of the Swamps, he's the one we want to get attacked because he's our tankish kind of guy. I know he's not as good as Unset. Son of a bitch, I forgot to check items. They have a healing item. And it's red medicine, basically a full heal. Mmm. Mmm. Forgot to check items. Remember I always say check items? They both have healing. 
Oh, I gotta take out the healers, and the only way to do that is to be patient. Shit. Alright, well, what we can do is we can start knocking down the healers. Jellyfish is not as deadly as this one over here. Jellyfish only gives out blue medicine, so we're gonna get rid of the crab if possible. Ugh, yeah, this Beast King is not for damage, that's for sure. We don't want to knock the crab below half. We just need him around half. And then we gotta waste a bunch of turns. Oh, that's below half, isn't it? And Setsu hits really hard, because that is definitely below half. This is the strongest attack the enemy can muster. And honestly, our tank takes it decently well. Um, If I try to attack him and he lives, he's gonna red medicine up. But would we still, we'll still win the fight if they heal, so it's fine. It'll be fine. So close to death. Oh! Ah, uh, this is one, the one guy that can't kill the enemy is the one guy who gets an attack. Get a crit! Come on, Swamp Mist! I couldn't buff you, so do something. Damn it, 5 HP! He's gonna get a heal. Yep. Yep, the game hates me. And he's gonna get two heals, which honestly, I guess that's just wasting the enemy's resources, but it's wasting my attacks. God damn it. That means all of these water enemies are going to have healing items, which means we're in a lot more trouble than I thought. Um, Might knock out half his health if I attack him. I'm going to go after the jellyfish instead. They're going to be out of red medicine. They only get one more red medicine, so the jellyfish's blue medicine is all that matters. This is what I wanted you to do. Just basic attack me. Your basic attacks are foolish and weak. There's no way we lose the battle thanks to my high damage. The guard will not save... A miss would save them. If I miss the attack, we lose. Alright, let's see it. I knocked him down low enough for a blue, red, and red medicine, so I need to have someone beat him. Luckily, Bakora did this, so that means they're going to get knocked back and confused for five seconds. And with that five seconds, we're going to use it to jump them. Alright. Jump. Go jump them. The other ones can't push through yet, so it's fine. Just jump him. Now, this is going to result in Tristan having a lot of battles, but he's tanky enough. In fact, Tristan's whole team is decent tanks. And a really good tank. Oh, Mystic Horseman has five attacks now. That's so good. All right, well, we're going to start working on the freaking jellyfish. If we can kill it before it gets its turn, or before that bubble guy gets his turn. Ah, 12 HP? Are you serious? Why does the game hate me? The game actually hates me. Giving that guy 12 HP. Let's see if the red medicine gets here before I can kill him. One healer down. Just enough that time. All right. One healer down. One more to think about. Giant Soldier of Stone's weakness of not getting many attacks sucks. But man, is his HP good. I mean, Mystic Horseman's better in like every way. But he's still a good HP tank. And his defense is higher than Mystic Horseman. So it's pretty handy. Good. He's wasting his turn on bubbles. We'll take that. The jellyfish being out is going to help out a lot. This guy only has one red medicine left. So as long as he doesn't get another turn, he will never get to use it. And he's not getting another turn. Gazelle, get in there. And remember, do whatever it takes to fight these guys on land. They are actually strong if you fight them in the water. Okay. Critical hit on our tank. That sucks, but it didn't kill us. Their strongest guy got a crit on our tank, and that is unlucky. Okay, no more healers to save the Spike Seedra, so we can start abusing it. There we go. And my Mystic Horseman gets so many attacks, so this is perfect. There's no way we lose this fight. Spike, shoot. As long as you guys aren't aiming at Gazelle, I'm cool. Gazelle's the one guy I don't want you to hit. Alright, go. And we slice this guy in half. One more enemy. Oh, crit. Unnecessary, but a crit. All right. One enemy falls, everybody. One enemy falls. Giant Soldier gets a level. Mystic Horseman gets a level. Gazelle's waiting. Still waiting. All right. Instant battle. Yeah, expected. That was expected. Same. Okay. This is the same guy, basically. They just have multiple forces with the same amount of forces. Oh, no. This is not the same guy. This guy's got... Oh, it's the same item setup, but he's got Fiend Kraken. Fiend Kraken is not as tanky or hit... It doesn't hit as hard as Jellyfish. It's just a worse card. Lucky me. Although I think it does get an annoying ability later in the game. Compared to what the Jellyfish gets. So we're going to start working on... 
Fiend Kraken first. Because the blue medicines come in a lot. They have a lot of blue medicine. Giant Soldier's going to work on the guy with red medicine. And Mystic Horseman will knock them all down too much. But he has a lot of attacks, so what I'm going to do is just hit the Spike Seedra for fun. Alright, Spike Seedra takes a hit. Now, it's probably going to cost me a lot of weight, which means I'm going to make my points go down, but... I would rather get attacked by that bubble attack than let him use red medicine. Skid Breath, yeah, this attack is gross, but at the same time, it's pretty uh, pretty good later in the game. I think it gives out blindness. It's super annoying. And blindness is exactly what you think it is. It makes your opponent's accuracy extremely low. All right, we're going to wait. Let the Spike Sudra break out of its own guard. We just got to take the hits. Giant Soldier, I don't need your attack anymore. You're just going to have to heal yourself. Because even though you still have a lot of HP left, it's not enough. Skid Breath. Yeah, they're really bullying you now. Thank God we attacked the moon. I'm joking. <laughs> oh, no. All right, wait, and you heal. Blue Medicine up yourself. He barely even fits in the range of the Blue Medicine. All right, we got another guard. Until they run out of moves on both healers, there's no reason not to wait. Even if it means costing us all our points, it doesn't matter. I'll try to keep the points on screen so you see how much we lose. Okay, now we win. Because we still have so many attacks left. And we can kill off whoever we want. And they miss, so actually we could win either way. Alright, let's go. Screw your red medicine. Alright. Gazelle, finish him off. And then we need to screw over the blue medicine. There we go. Man, these guys do so much damage. I love it. Leopard Claw. Beautiful. All right. Only one enemy left, and we might not be able to kill them. They expect 300 damage. I don't think we can deal 300. All right. We can. Oh, my God. Holy crap. We wiped out an entire enemy army. As if it were nothing. Tristan Taylor is OP. Someone someone hire this man. He's a good duelist. He just can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. He's, he's a good battler. Put him in put him in this freaking sword art online game. It's perfect. Alright. Oh, don't knock him towards the wall. Why did it knock me in that direction specifically? It's because that enemy was looking in a different... It depends on the opposite direction that your opponent was looking. This counts as water or the shore. Either way, I think it counts as water. If we're in trouble. Alright, it knocked us right to the shore of the water. So we're going to be taking extra hits. The opponents have extra hits to deal out. Yep. Ooh, that's bad. That is bad. Eh. As strong as we are, I don't think we can deal with this. Alright, you're going to be focused on being a healer. Just keep blue medicine up. Don't worry about anything else. He's guarding. Damn, he was my next target. Fighting these guys in the water is going to suck. We got to take way more hits than I want. I don't even know if we're going to win this battle. All right, as long as they keep attacking Giant Soldier of Stone, we can win this battle. 160, yeah, they're definitely doing more damage than they used to. Like, the bubble guy, it's hard to tell because he sucks, but... These, uh, the Skid Breath was definitely more damage than expected. 100 damage, oh boy. How terrifying. All right, put some damage on that freaking Kraken. We're having sushi tonight. So yeah, guys, this is the advantages and disadvantages in this game. You have the advantages of having the water battlers. Some of these guys are good in castles. Some of them are good in the field. Some of them are good on dirt roads. Uh, some of them are good. There's a, there's a lot of... And some of them are good at fighting at night. So if you wait until nighttime and then you go... Because remember, there is a day-night cycle during the, during the time limit. The time is constantly passing. There we go. Critical hit. Very, very, very unlucky. I need to save my attacks to kill the enemy, but I need all of them. And he'll die to three attacks. I, I can't believe I'm doing this. I, I have to defend. 
He waited. Smart. Okay, he didn't wait out my defense. Good. He broke my guard? He got a crit! He broke my guard! Holy crap, that's unlucky. Okay. We can kill off their best healer, luckily. The red medicine guy is about to be knocked out. But we cannot fight these guys in the water. It's too unlucky. We're just too unlucky in here. How is our battle? We are losing so badly. Oh my god, we're gonna get knocked the hell out, that's for sure. Ooh. Tristan Taylor, you are in danger. No, I just hit this guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did the best I could. I need to call in Yugi if there is time, because Tristan's getting knocked around, and he needs to get pulled out of this uh, whirlpool of enemies. Hopefully that guy doesn't have a big enough ring where it's an auto battle. Okay, good. Tristan, run. Just run. Yugi, you could stay in there, honestly. That's fine. And we need blue medicines now. Okay, Tristan's ready to fight again. <laughs> That's all it needed. And Yugi's the second person in the base. The person leading the base is Bakora, so therefore Yugi gets to, you know, take the enemies on, and we're going to make them pay for what they've done to us. Even if he does heal, it's not enough HP. 300 HP won't be enough. Yeah, I'll still get two attacks off and you'll die. All right, Silver Fang, get to work. Good roar, good roar. 400 damage, I'm a fan. Blackland Fire Dragon, kill the healer. Critical hit. Always when I don't need it, but I'll take it. Um, the guy's guarding right now, so we could just wait him out. Wait for him to attack again. Spike shoot, perfect. Yugi and the Celtic Guardian will do good here. I think Celtic Guardian happens to be like uh, field adept. I think we're in the field right now, so this works. Despite the fact that we're technically in a castle. Oh, because we're not in a castle. We're in a one of those bases. This guy got two attacks in a row. Unlucky. All right, let's just keep on the pressure. Kill off this enemy crit. Oh, that was an important crit because that way, that, yeah, holy crap. That saved us some time. <laughs> Damn, Blackland Fire Dragon doing good work, okay. Definitely don't fight these guys on the water. They are problematico. All right, you are going to sneak around. Get to land because they're probably going to start respawning. We don't want them to get to the water when they respawn. Yugi, let Bakora have some action. Akora, you're going to just stand right over here, yeah. We need you to check out these enemies for us. These are the new tier of enemies. Okay, Water Girl, Karyushin, and that one lobster guy. The lobster guy is not a huge threat to me. Alright, Karyushin is, though. They have one healer, which sucks, but at least it's only one. And it's red medicine, so that's the worst one for us. Misty Ninja Slash, go ahead and do it to their boss. The red medicine guy has a lot of attack turns, so we can't hit him yet. Not yet. I think you can hit him. You won't hit as hard as Ensetsu. So you won't knock him down below half. Yeah, that's good. Water Tornado. Alright. Took some damage, but it's fine. Beast King, why don't you uh, keep working on that Karyushin? Yeah, Beast King of the Swamps is just not good in this game. If only I had King of the Swamps, which actually would be worse. <laughs> Funny enough, he'd just straight up be worse. Alright, Club Scissors, that's gonna suck. No, it's not. That's That move sucks. <laughs> I should have just said that. Aqua Breath, this is the only attack that matters on their team. Yeah, that's a that's basically a Hydro Pump right there. And almost two. it's just almost 200 flat. That's, yeah, that's pretty bad for us. Um, stuffed Animal, I'm afraid we're gonna need you to save your attack. Save your attacks, because we need to kill the red. Oh, we need to kill the red medicine healer. Even if it costs us the battle, it'll be worth it. Water tornado, we take this. Is that we dodge? Yeah, we dodged it. That's 500 points. He's guarding. Good. We just gotta keep waiting. This is the aqua breath. Let's see how much it really does. Yep, still aiming at our boss monster. We lose him. We lose. Well, I mean, we have a lot of problems. No crit, luckily. Keep waiting. He's guarding on his final turn. Okay. 
So we'll wait. You are going to be used for medicine because, honestly, we need Onsetsu alive. Onsatsu, whatever his name is. There we go. And we're going to wait out the guard because he's the one that needs to die. So you, show us how much damage you can do with this uh, Misty Ninja Slash. Yep, enough to kill. And you, big bite him. There we go. The healer's down. Now that the healer's down, we could start working on Karyushin because that guy's the bigger threat. He's doing almost 200 damage to us. Which at this point in the game is really threatening from just a regular enemy. There we go. Okay, that's a victory. Even with all those weights. Bakora gets level 9. Okay, not much for Bakora, but he didn't kill the guy off yet. But he will. Because these guys have a huge circle around them, so I'm assuming that means we have an instant battle. Yep. Oh, he almost touched the base. Holy crap. Good thing I left Yugi in there just in case. That could have been a problem. Ansatsu, we already know how to deal with this. Uh, go for the water girl, actually. Even if he gets another attack off, who cares? I just want to make sure we get the damage off. Okay, Aqua Breath. We'll take it. We'll have time to heal, so it's fine. Oh no, our stuffed toy. How often does... Our stuffed animal. How often does he get attacked? Two, that was 200 damage. My defense is pretty bad on this stuffed animal. Alright, fine. Finish him off. We don't want to take another 200. I do like that the stuffed animal does use the teeth in the back. It's not just like, oh, it shoots a laser beam. No, it actually bites them. And it turns the animal around to bite them. Swamp Woman. Nah, Swamp Mist didn't do it. But this will. Her defense isn't as good as Kaiushin, so I expect a lot of damage. Yeah, there we go. All right, and with that, Bakora just needs a little bit of healing, and we'll be good. Oh, Bakora does not get more attack, but gets more HP and attack points. Attack points are all that really matter, and HP is important, too. Okay, heal times. Nope, that's not your healer. Oh, I, caught, I captured an area. Good. Blue medicine time. One for you. One for you. One for you. Very good. All right, Fizda is a little bit of a strange play, but I'm actually sending you towards the enemy base. You're gonna have to trust me on this one. Uh, we having a fight yet? Yeah, get in there, fight him. <laughs> no need to be patient, Bakora. This is your best chance to get some experience. Uh, and honestly, in this mission, you can grind. You can totally grind the enemies. The problem is, is that they have healing items, so you don't really want to grind the enemies. This guy has the same exact setup. No, not even one monster difference. So. We already know what we have to do. You can attack him. The way I dealt with this the first time worked, so we'll just do that strategy again. Um, you can attack the, the thing we actually want to kill. Very good, very good. Water Tornado. Hyper Tornado! No, it's Water Tornado. Alright. A little sucky for Ansatsu. He does not want to be hit by that, but he was. Club Scissors, we love that he's using that. Not on Ansatsu, though, that kind of sucks. Can't even do 100 damage, though. Probably because Ansatsu is a tribute monster. And yes, that matters. No, I don't know if it actually matters. But tribute monsters are just better because they usually have better stats. Just like how my Ansatsu 1700, 1200, and Kairushin's 1800, what, 1500 defense? I actually don't remember. It's weird, too, because Mako Tsunami was just in one of my tournaments. For those of you that don't know, I throw AI tournaments every Saturday on my Twitch channel and release them every Sunday on my YouTube channel. Uh, but people that watch it on Twitch get to vote live on who they think is going to win, which is really fun. Um, let's see. I'm going to go with this. And Mako did really good in the third world tournament. But now we're moving into season four. No world tournament coming up. We're just moving into season four where we do a bunch of random fun tournaments. Alright, so there we go. Stuffed animal. We're going to have to wait him out because he has too many of those left. Okay, he's just guarding. He let, yeah, thank God he guarded. And club scissors on oh, my stuffed animal. How dare you? That was that was rude. We just got to wait him out. Let him do his awkward... Oh, wait. No, I didn't. I think he ran out of attacks. I could have just attacked him. I wasted some weight. So hopefully I don't lose the battle because of it. I don't think we can lose the battle, but still. A critical hit or a miss, you know, it could cost us. Uh, go ahead and just attack Kai. And as the last guy, we could just take him out. Alright. Stuffed animal. Let's go ahead and use... 
Yeah, go ahead and take out that lobster. He's the biggest threat. Once he's dead, then the rematch is an easy win. Kairoshin's the next biggest threat. And that's a guarantee. Oh, we were already winning. Damn, I didn't think we were already winning there. And Kairoshin, get a crit, get a crit, get a crit. And no crit. Damn. We'll get him next time, don't worry. And it's going to be an instant battle because he's too big. Stuffed animal, very good. And no, it's not an insta battle because you walked away from me. Just go finish him off. Thank you. Stop walking away from the enemy. Alright, on Satsu, get rid of that guy. He's a problem. His defense may be high, but that should kill him. Yeah, just barely. And she's guarding. Smart play, but uh, I don't care. Your intelligence is noted. Now do something. <laughs> it's like, good job, AI. You made the right play. And therefore, I'm going to wait you out because there is no right play technically. The best you could do is get crits on me. And without those crits, you're nothing. All right. The water people have been destroyed. It was a little bit, you know, annoying because I had to fight one of them in the water and we almost lost a character because of it. Or just a monster of, a, of one of our marshals, which would have sucked. And finally, Ansatsu, Misty Ninja Slash. Hello. Oh, well, hello there. That's a problem. But big bite. Is she winning now because I missed? Almost. Holy shit. They were almost winning just because of one miss. Misses cost you way too many points. All right. Bakora reaches level 11. Okay. I just wanted to level up Bakora a little bit. It's important, everybody. But I think that's enough levels for the man. I'm going to let him uh, hold the base now. You're going to hold center base. And Yugi, you're going to go attack the main enemy. I'm sending all my forces... I'm having him hold center base just in case I need him to retreat to main base. So, Yugi, do you need any heals? You were in battle earlier. Yeah, you could use a heal. A heal. Okay. Fizdiz, you haven't even got some action yet, so I'll let you... I'll let you take first swing if we get the chance. And you're doing pretty good. There we go. Uh, only one blue medicine left. Damn. Save it for someone other than Giant Soldier. So looking at this, he hasn't respawned anybody. Oh, it's the Water Temple guy from Forbidden Memories. I like that. Bringing back good memories right now. Okay, you're going in there, and Yugi's going as fast as... Why does the screen do that? Like, anytime I go over there, it's like... Watch this. Oh, it's not doing it this time. Okay, well, the screen was doing this weird thing. What is it like... Oh, right here. I could kind of see it. It's like when you're on the edge of the shore, it just... It does this weird effect. Okay, trading town. I'm going to let Fizdiz take the first shot at the boss, just because we don't know what kind of stuff he's using. And she can give us good information. And then Yugi will try to take out the boss. So Fizdiz, what kind of stuff is he working with? You fought well so far for a bunch of squirts. But the sea is where I fight best. As head of the Imperial Navy, I will see the fish picked out your bones. Yeah, you see, the thing is, though, we're not in the sea. We're in a castle. Therefore, you don't get a sea boost. Although, you do have a very powerful monster there. That is a Sea King Dragon. Or Aqua Sea Dragon, I don't remember. I'll, I'll figure it out right now. They all have low attacks. So, Sea King Dragon at 2300 attack, 2000 defense, and 1200 HP. Uh, Fiend Kraken has medicine, that's a problem, and it's a tank. Okay. 1600 defense. Well, actually, it's just weak. And he's got Giant Red Sea Snake at 2100 attack. Not very good defense, not... Uh, the HP is good. So we need to kill Fiend Kraken more than anything. So we're going to start aiming some of our attacks in that direction. Alright. Get him, Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. Penguin Soldier. Spin a, spin a Rooney. If we, if we could take out the healer, Yuki could take out the boss, no problem. Skid Breath, he only has one more attack. Which means he only has one chance of healing. If I decide to let him have that chance. That one's wasting their one... Oh, wow, they wasted their turns with a guard. They want me to attack that guy to make him heal. To waste some of my attack points. And I'm not going to. And now the healer is useless. Kill the healer off. Giving Yugi exactly what he needs. Thank you, Fizdiz. You are good at this. This naval commander is a pretty powerful opponent. But because he's not fighting on the sea, his monsters only get two attack points, which means they're useless. On the sea, you get a buff in everything, basically. So, lucky me. <laughs> lucky, lucky me. 
Granted, I have taken quite a bit of damage, and the boss is still yet to attack me. We don't know how much that Sea King Dragon does. The Giant Red Sea Snake did decent damage to us, which is scary enough. Aqua Breath. All right, time to see how strong it is. So a lot of the water monsters have the same attack. It's Aqua Breath, and it does over 200. Yep, he's a problem. Okay. Well, let's see how he likes fire. Fried calamari. We're good, guys. We got some food. And now we're going to start working on the tankiest guy on their team. Just so Yugi doesn't have to worry about it. Yeah, Yugi can just waltz on in there and kill him. Go. Getting some decent swings in. He's really tanky at 1,200 HP. He just wishes he was in the ocean right now. All right. And let's get another attack in there. Well, that's as good as we can do. And she actually just straight up won the fight. So that just shows how strong Fizdiz is getting, despite the fact that I use her mostly for her discount. It's like, I want a discount. All right, Yugi, how far are you? Honestly, Fizdiz looks like she could just handle this herself. I thought it would need... I, I thought it would need Yugi's touch, but this guy's kind of weak. I expected so much more. Yugi, you're level 13. Fizdiz is only level 9. Let her have this. Here we go. To think I thought this guy would be a problem. He's only a problem if he enters the sea, but he's too much of a coward to enter the sea. Your aqua breaths are... U okay, no, they almost do 200 damage. That's not useless, but it's useless to try and stop me. I have the penguin soldier. He lives in the sea. It's his birthplace. Ah, guarding, you dick. Well, I'm going to need to kill off the sea snake anyway. He's utilizing that gigantic HP and defense stat to scare me. And it's working. Now, luckily, the red sea snake does not have good defense. He just has high HP. So tearing him down isn't nearly as bad. There we go. Everyone on my team got a good hit off. Aqua Breath, stop aiming at Hornim. Give the guy a break. He doesn't even know how he's still here. Usually people get replaced by now, but Hornim's like, you know, he's chugging along. All right, Aqua Breath is coming in. Ah, damn it. Leave him alone. That's our boss monster. You can't just attack him. 224 damage. Holy shit. All right, that's pretty good. But as a final enemy, you can't even fight Fizdiz. That's a joke. You only had one healer and no equip items. The, the previous boss battles were harder. Granted, this area is supposed to be hard because if you're dumb enough to attack them in the water, um, all those enemies you find in the water will just tear your life points apart. Tear all of your HP apart. Granted, she's not going to win the fight. Unless we can get a crit with Penguin Soldier, she's not going to win the fight. He will survive. Damn. Penguin Soldier, critical hit. Come on. No crit. All right, so you get one more round. Maybe your HP was higher than I thought. Fizdiz hits level 10 as we wanted. Best character, Fizdiz. Here to save the day. All right, get back in there, Fizdiz. No fear. No fear. Before Yugi takes the kill from you. I'm not even going to heal you. Everyone, go on him. I'm just going to have everyone attack this guy while he has nothing left. Sec Maiden, your, your time is up. You were the only one stopping us from going inland, and now you're dead. Thank you for nothing. Fireball go. That should be enough. No, oh, this guy's tankier than he looks. And there we go. Despite his low defense stat, his HP was just high enough. There it is, everybody. The naval battle has been won. Turbulent Waters is over, and we got some new car or new uh, guys to join the team. We got Enchanting Mermaid and Octoburser. Heck yeah. And how can I forget? We also get... Hey, 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 how am I supposed to make a grand entrance if you finish off the enemy before I can join in? Mako, you're here too? So basically, I think... There's not a 100% chance on this, but... If you take too long on this boss fight, I think he actually shows up to save you. Yeah, and I can't seem to get out. I heard you were fighting, so I thought I'd lend you a hand. So Mako Tsunami was invited to test the game as well. And not only that, but he's part of our party now. We get Mako freaking Tsunami, the freaky fish guy, one of the strongest people in my tournaments. 
And that's not a joke. He's won one. He won the Duelist Kingdom tournament. Badlands. That's the best mission of the game. Badlands is an intense, crazy mission that we're going to love. The Imperial forces around the mainland are tough, and the Resistance can't seem to make much headway. Seeking to limit damage to his forces, Yugi decides to make a break for the beastly Badlands in Central Run Devil, and devise a plan that will allow him to attack the enemy from behind. So basically, their fortress is too well guarded, so we need to sneak around. But, in order to sneak around, we have to go through a deadly area called the Beastly Badlands. And um, let's uh, take a look at this next turn. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. If you're enjoying this, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.